Welcome everyone to Rebounder Cardio Party. Super basic, super simple, super easy to follow. We're going to start with that little health bounce. Soft bend in your knees, our feet, the weight is evenly distributed, and we're focusing on that downstroke right here. Very super basic, simple, easy to follow. This is a great workout if you're brand new to rebounding or if you're ready to kick your rebounding up just a notch. My name is Angie, Angie Fitness TV. I am bouncing on a leaps and rebounds bungee rebounder. Right now, we're doing that health bounce. We're slowly waking up our body. You can do what you want with your arms. Don't roll on the outside of your feet. Don't roll on the inside of your feet. Press evenly between the pads of your feet and your heels. Evenly distribute the weight between that right and left leg. So you want the knee joint, hip, and ankles. Going down, focus on that downstroke right here. It's a beautiful way just to very slowly wake up our body. I like to just move my arms with it. Ooh, we got 15 minutes, you guys, of this cardio party. There's not going to be any hard moves. You can always go back. Yeah, you can always go back into this health bounce if you feel you're tired or you need active recovery. So you can always come back right here. Let's start taking our heels off. All right. Start taking your heels off. Willow's outside. My husband's getting ready to spray our backyard and my cat is in the backyard. So I don't obviously want my cat back there. So again, feet are hip width apart. Shoulders are set back and away from your ears. Core, nice, solid, tight. We're gonna keep all these moves super basic and simple. But right now, we're coming up on our toes. Our heels are coming off the rebounder. And we're lifting and we're lowering. Just nice, natural arms. Right now, I'm really starting to warm up the ankle joint. You're gonna feel this in your calf as well. Evenly distribute the weight between both feet. Yeah, always want that core tight. Always want the shoulder back. Now start taking your feet off the rebounder. Nice natural arms, feet hip width apart, focusing on landing nice and evenly between that right and left leg. Don't land on the outside of your foot or on the inside of your foot. Evenly distribute the weight, all right? Each exercise is 60 seconds. If you get tired, again, go back into the health bounce. So now we have our feet coming off that rebounder. I understand you may get tired, so listen to your body. Do what you can. Just take a break with that health bounce when you need that active recovery. Again, this is super, super basic, super, super simple, and a beautiful series when you wanna rebound. All right, so take it out. Let's do that little bounce out. Now, you have options. You can keep your feet on the ground. You can lift your heels, come up on toes, or you can take your feet off the rebounder. So if we know each exercise, is 60 seconds, right? Again, your feet can stay on the rebounder. Soft bend in your knees. Just focusing on that little bounce right here. Heels can come off the rebounder. Toes can stay on. Or you can take both feet off the rebounder. My job is to show you modifications for your body. We're all at different levels. We all have different rebounders, right? Yes. Now, let's start practicing that out and in. Right here. We're not gonna focus on the arms 
in this cardio party. I just want you to get used to the legs. Sometimes adding those arms can be a little bit confusing when you're brand new, you're working on balance, you're working on core strength. So I only wanna focus on one thing at a time right here. So again, options, nice and slow. You can just go out, bounce, feet hip width apart, take it out a little bit, bounce it in a little bit. Hands can be on your hips, or you can be coming out like this. Up to you. This is your jack move. Evenly distribute the weight when you land between both feet. Don't roll out, don't roll in. Let's bounce in the center. Little health bounce. Feet are not coming off. This is your little recovery right here. Now, again, check in on your body mechanics. Our shoulders set back and away from your ears. Is that core nice and tight? You have a soft bend in your knee. Are you evenly distributing the weight between both feet? Yeah, evenly distributing the weight between your right and left leg when you land. It's very important for proper body mechanics. So we're going back into that health bounce. Hey, Bob, Willow's outside. Okay, so, got it. Let's do a deep breath in. Inhale. Oh, and exhale one more time. We're gonna get back into it. This was your active recovery. Big inhale. And a big exhale. Let's just start going side to side. Let's see what we feel about this side to side. Hands can be in your hips, soft bend on your knees. Now, anytime you get tired, I can't stress it enough. You know you're gonna go into that health bounce or that bounce in the center. So we're working our lateral movement here. Landing, right, when you land, nice and equal. It's easy, you guys, to take your feet and land on the outside of your feet or land on the inside too much. I don't want that. Hips, knees, ankles, toes pointing forward. Now, if I move too fast, you could bounce here a little bit, bounce here a little bit, bounce here. You could just bounce on one side, other side, take it to the center. Now, we're gonna do a little skiing. We're gonna go right hip forward, left hip forward. Right hip forward, left hip forward. Right hip, and then a left hip. So you're turning that right hip, working in that diagonal. Your eye gaze is coming forward. Let me show you options here. You can twist. Again, this is tempo. You don't have to do that. You can bounce for a little bit, get used to it, and then bounce on the other side. Turn a little bit, and then turn a little bit. All right? Many variations. You can single time it. You can double time it. It's up to you. You're taking that hip forward, turning, other hip forward. Come center, center bounce. Feet hip width apart, shoulders rolled back. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna jog right here. Like you're jogging on a road. Using those arms. Wow, you guys, good job again. Now, if I'm jogging, I can also just lift my heels. Look at this modification. I'm doing a fast power walk. Yeah, look at that. I'm not taking my feet off the rebounder. My heels are coming off. Now, this is your jog. You can take your feet off just like a beautiful jog here natural arms still focusing on how you land on your feet that's always important feel free to wear those tennis shoes if you need that extra support you guys 
Looking good. Woo! All right, give me heels right here. Now, let me show you low impact. It's all low impact. Now, another way to do it from the side, a lot of balance, a lot of core involved. You're not doing a high bounce. You're keeping one foot on the trampoline. Now, if you want more, you're gonna just intensify that bounce. Natural arms, right here. Again, you have your choice. That rebounder is there for you to add that intensity or to keep it low. You're on an unstable surface, so any way you work it, it's really good, you guys. Any way you choose to work it, however high you want the intensity, however low you want it. You're moving your body. That's the bottom line. Woo! Bounce in the center. How are you guys doing? We're in our little last part. Deep breath in. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Big inhale. And exhale. All right, we're gonna ski. Take the right foot forward, left foot forward. You're gonna visualize your feet are on a railroad track. You're gonna bounce as fast or as slow as you wanna go. Let me show the low modification. Left foot back, right tap. Left tap, you don't have to bounce. Other people, you're in it. You could just as simply tap the right leg back and then the left leg. Or ski, or you want more, you're going tempo ski, right, left, right, left. Many variations of this. No jumping is on the mini trampoline is ever required, especially if you're brand new. You may not wanna jump at this high intensity. You don't have to. You may simply just wanna get used to your body on the rebounder because it's challenging your balance, your coordination, and your proprioception. So any way you need to do it is absolutely perfect. Oh yeah. So you're skiing. Natural arms, we're not gonna focus on arms in this workout. Just getting the leg movement, core nice solid tight, shoulders back down and away from your ears. Oh yeah. Woo! Wow, you guys. Guess what? Let's take it to the center. Nice bounce. We're not in that health bounce yet. Nice bounce. We're on our way down. Told you, this class is 15 minutes, start to finish. So, super, super basic beginner. I hope I showed you. You don't have to bounce. You don't have to take your feet off the trampoline. Keep it as small as you need to. Deep breath in. Go into your health bounce. Both feet are on the ground. Both feet are on the <laughs> rebounder, you guys. Big inhale. Oh, and a big exhale. Okay, let's go back into health bounce. Let's wipe the sweat off our forehead. Open up and through the shoulder blades, hip, knees, ankles, toes forward. Evenly distribute the weight between both legs. You should feel that. 50-50 split between that right and left leg. We're just going back down. You guys got 50 seconds. Woo, just finishing with that health bounce. Soft bend in the knee. Put your hands on your hips. So, shoulders set back down and away from your ears. Core nice, solid, tight. Feel the weight evenly distributed between both feet. Push down. Just focus on that push down. Yeah. Great job today, you guys. I know we broke a sweat. We did really, really good. Deep breath in. And exhale two more times. We call it a day. Big inhale. Oh, and an exhale last time. You did great today. Big inhale. And a beautiful exhale. I will see you for our next rebounding workout together. Thank you.